Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about an interesting weather pattern that'll be shaping up the weather across the United States this week. This will bring the threat for severe weather along with much warmer weather across the United States. I'll give you the latest breakdown and everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll begin with the Great Lakes region that is where a very large scale trough is currently located this has been bringing very impressive showers and storms to the east coast over the last 48 hours and you might notice look over here just off the east coast of florida and the mid-atlantic there is a ton of really large showers and storms ongoing a lot of that is actually severe weather luckily since this low pressure system is further to the east the timing of severe weather is really just off so there's no severe weather really inland other than a very small exception with just strong enough upper level winds bringing a couple of showers and storms that are severe today to areas back over in the Carolinas and Virginia. This will continue to move off to the north and east over the next 24 to 48 hours before it finally moves off the coast. And look back over here to the west across the western half of the United States. There is a huge ridge in place and this is going to be really a big point of discussion over the next several days because it's going to keep a large chunk of the United States dry but it's not necessarily good news for the long term. And I'll show you why with the jet stream because the jet stream is what really controls a lot of our weather patterns in the United States and you'll notice going over the next few days that is where that low pressure system is currently located back up in the northeast that's what's bringing a ton of rainfall and that's going to continue to move off to the north and east but you'll notice back over here to the west that is where a very strong ridge will be located this is going to bring much drier and warmer weather to the United States you might have noticed in the thumbnail there's a ton of warmer weather that will be coming to a large chunk of the country especially over the central plains but eventually going until later in the week we'll still have a ridge kind of over the United States it'll keep most areas dry there might be a couple of isolated showers and storms maybe due to a weak low pressure system once we go into the weekend notice this there'll be a small little negatively tilted trough that could develop back over the Rocky Mountains this could actually be our next chance of severe weather we very well could see the chance for some significant severe weather as well if this is a stronger low pressure system right now the European model is indicating very weak upper level winds with it which would likely indicate a weaker sort of system but we very well could see some severe weather but the big thing about these omega block patterns especially during the spring is during the long term we start to see much more potent storms that bring much more severe weather and this is a long-term computer model this is the gfs model and you'll notice once we go into around mid-may so around may 10th to 15th there's going to be a chance for some really strong cutoff lows you'll notice this is right around the 11th of may and again things change a lot this far out so keep that in mind but this is something to really keep a close eye on because once we go into mid-may this is when things will start to set up again for favorable environments for severe weather. We'll start to see some cutoff lows and you'll notice even by the end of this computer model run right around the 15th of May there's another chance for a very large scale trough that could develop and this is usually what brings a lot of severe weather. So obviously we are in May. Severe weather is usually peaking around this time of the year especially across the Great Plains and these low pressure systems that will end up developing going into mid-May will be very concerning. Omega blocks bring a lot of concerns in terms of severe weather after they're done with. So we'll be in a mega block weather pattern for the next seven or ten days but once we get closer to mid-may things are going to ramp up again and severe weather will become much more likely one thing I do want to mention with long-term computer model projections, especially when we're talking about precipitation, they're usually not very accurate, but when we're looking at the jet stream, it can tend to be more accurate, especially since we have a history of Omega blocks essentially producing no severe weather for a couple of weeks, and then things ramp up again. So I just want to kind of put a little disclaimer there that it is likely that we're going to see severe weather ramp up again sometime around mid-May. But let's talk about what's happening over the next several days. Showers and storms will continue across the Northeast. A lot of the severe weather action is ending to today so we will not really be talking about much severe weather for the next few days but notice going into later this week across the central plains that is where a couple of events of maybe marginal risks of severe weather may occur we might see some damaging winds hail maybe an isolated tornado threat but overall the severe weather threat for at least the end of this week into the weekend does remain low at this time once we go into sunday that is when a more organized low pressure system might develop closer to the surface and what this might do is bring the threat for some severe weather across areas in the central and maybe even southern 
Northern Plains. Damaging winds would be most likely the main threat out of any severe weather events that happen. And once we go into next week, things become very uncertain, but it does seem like we're going to be in a fairly dry weather pattern over the next several days. In terms of the temperatures, this is the temperature anomaly. So the blues are representing below average temperatures, red is above average. You'll notice going into Monday and to Tuesday, colder weather will really return across the Midwest. It already feels pretty chilly across a lot of those areas. That is all from the low pressure system that is bringing tons of rainfall. Once we go into later this week, warmer weather will return to the central plains. That's what that omega block setup that I've been mentioning. And then once we go into Saturday into Sunday, really just average to maybe above average temperatures for most of the country until we start to see more of those low pressure systems start to move into the country, which will probably happen closer to mid-May. And I just wanted to mention, I've been mentioning this omega block pattern a ton. This is what it looks like in a general sense of things. This is not what's happening this week, but this is what it looks like. It literally looks like an omega block, like the Greek letter. That's where we have a high pressure ridge over the central United States and typically two low pressure systems, which is what we're going to have in this sort of instance over the next several days. Now, I do want to talk about the potential for severe weather going into this upcoming weekend. Even though a lot of things can change between now and then, it's always a good idea to at least look and see what might be happening in the long term. And that next storm system that we need to watch will be right around Saturday and Sunday. That's going to be centered over the central plains. And this is the upper level winds. And overall, they're going to be fairly weak, which would indicate that storms are not going to really be able to maintain healthy updrafts for a long duration of time, which would mean severe weather would remain limited in a sense, at least of the upper level winds. And you'll see here going into Monday, that thing weakens out very quickly. So this would only really be a threat across the central plains. And the low level jet, this is what helps to really indicate what the low level rotation will be with the potential for supercells. It will not be very strong either. The winds aloft, maybe 30 to 40 knots, which is kind of on the lower end of a low level jet. So overall, the threat of severe weather, at least over the next seven days, will remain very low. There will be plenty of humidity though across the central plains beginning as early as Thursday. So showers and storms will be possible, but severe organized severe weather at least does remain very unlikely here. And this is going into Sunday night. That is when severe weather might ramp up. Dew points into the low 60s across areas in the central plains might be enough for a little bit of severe weather. But again, things change a lot, especially this far out. And the last thing I want to mention are the temperatures. You'll notice here going into tomorrow, we'll have highs only in the 30s and 40s in the mid west and there's actually a chance for a small winter storm over the next 24 hours we could see upwards of two feet of snow in the upper michigan peninsula impressive stuff there while high temperatures back down in texas are in the 80s and maybe even 90s and then once we go into friday that is when the warmest day of the week will likely arrive with the omega block basically peaking across the united states temperatures really all the way down into the southern tier are going to feel like the summer we'll have temperatures in the 80s and even some low 90s and then back over to the midwest and as well as the northeast temperatures will be a little bit cooler but they're still gonna be right around average with highs in the 50s and as well as the low 60s thank you for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting and all dense repair